Hi everyone, today I wanted to just do a quick um, review and assembly on how to put together the, man the Lansano manual breast pump. Um, this is just a single pump in here. I have it packed away, I haven't used it in a couple of months, but um, I do like to have it handy just in case I need to use this. Um, for whatever reason but I just have it packed in here so I'm just gonna go ahead and unbox it and show you all the pieces um, I have the manual here just so I can try to refer to the pieces by their technical terms um, you know most of the time I just call it my own little name but I'll try to use the technical terms um, here's your handle for your pump and then here's a bottle lid a bottle collar and here is the stand to put your bottle in Here's the nipple that it comes with for the bottle. It's the actual bottle. It's a five ounce bottle. And then here's the bottle lid, just a closed lid. And this is the, the flange body, I guess is what it's called. And then this is a silicone diaphragm. And then it actually comes with two, oh, excuse me, two different flange sizes, which is great. Um, so just in case one isn't a great fit, you can use the other one. So it's two different flange sizes, and it does have the cushioning around to make it more comfortable around your breast for when you're pumping. And then the last thing it comes with is two, wait, there's supposed to be two valve pieces in here. Oh, goodness. Yeah, I found the other valve piece, guys. There's two valve pieces, so it comes with two, which is great. And then there is the stem. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you how to assemble it. Um, this is just a quick, easy way on how I do it. Um, you know, you can assemble it different ways in different orders, but this is just how I do it. I go ahead and just start with, you know, the main part. This is the flange body. You're going to get your valve and you're going to stick it in. Stick that right on in there. Make sure it's a good tight fit. Just right on inside of the valve. And then... You're going to take your stem and your silicone diaphragm, there's a hole in the middle, you're going to stick this up just like this, right? And you're going to stick it on top of the flange body, so there you go, you want to make sure it's a nice tight fit on there. And then you're going to take your bottle, you're going to screw it on. This is a five ounce bottle, I don't know if I mentioned. You screw your bottle on. And then what I like to do is go ahead and set it in the holder. That way it can stay sturdy. And then next you're going to get your handle and your handle pretty much just snaps on to the top like that. So just make sure it can go like that so you know you have it on correctly. There's two like dips and it's just gonna go into the first dip. So there's that. And then whatever flange is the best size for you, you know, try them out. And, you know, so I'll just put, this is the one I use, the smaller one. So this just goes right here. And that's your assembly. Um, I would recommend when I pump, you know, of course I don't have it on the stand. I just get it and pump. But it's very, very top heavy. So you don't want to risk putting it down and then it falling and your milk spilling out. So whenever you set it down, I would highly, highly recommend putting it into the holder so that's your assembly basically how you at the top um there is there i'm going to take the handle off there's two grooves right here so when you first start you want it to be on the first one the higher the one that's higher up oh gosh guys i'm sorry the lighting is like horrible there you go so you want it to be on the one that's higher up if you can see what i'm talking about this is going to be your stimulation type, this is what's going to get your breast stimulated, your nipple stimulated, your milk's going to start flowing. And once it's coming out, there is a push button right here. I don't know if you can see it. I don't really have the best lighting in here, but it says push right here. All you're going to do is push it down and then it pops. You hear that pop and now it's on the second group and it's a tighter squeeze. And that's how you're going to actually start expressing your milk once your milk is already flowing. So I will repeat again. You put, it can be a little tricky, you have to play with it sometimes, but there's a big hole and a small hole. The small hole is what you're going for. You put it on the first one at the top and it connects. And once your milk is going and starts dropping, you push down, it pops, it clicks really, and then your milk is flowing. And then once you're done, 
you unscrew the big part, you want to set that aside somewhere. It is pretty big, so you know, you just want to set it aside somewhere. And you can take this out. And then, you know, if you want to just store it in the fridge for later or just in your diaper bag for later, you just have it comes with a lid that just closes it all the way. Or it does come with a nipple and a collar. And you can just put this in. This is like the Mama Wave bottle if you're ready to feed your baby. And here's the lid. And there you go. Okay, so that's it, guys. I will go ahead and link where I got it. I think I got mine at Target. I think I got it for like 25 bucks or something, but I'll just go ahead and link it. And I hope this was helpful. Thanks. Bye.